Parents in the Lee Summit School District have until today to decide what they want their children to do. The choices for fall 2020 are online or virtual with the chance of going in person, but classes won't start until at least September 8th. However, not every school district in our area has actually pushed back the start of school until Labor Day. In just two weeks, some students in Raypack will go back into the classroom. 41 Action News reporter Charlie Keegan joins us with a closer look at that. Good morning, Charlie. Good morning, Lindsay and Taylor. And for those students who choose not to go to the classroom setting for that traditional uh, school setting, they'll actually go to a brand new virtual school that the school district here has created on its own called Viper, Virtual Instruction Program of Ray Peck. Over the last two weeks or so, teachers have been training on this new virtual platform. They're even recording themselves, giving lessons that students will then watch through this online platform. Viper will allow students to take some of those recorded lessons at their own pace, but then also participate in live virtual classroom sessions through their web cameras on their devices that they get from the school district. The one teacher who we spoke to uh, who will only be working on Viper this school district, school seat year, excuse me, said that she is really making sure that her students feel connected even from the online school. I know kids need those interactions and they need those relationship pieces. So I've taken that, that I really want to, you know, amplify that in my classroom, my virtual classroom, and to make kids really feel like I care and that we are all really a school family, even if it looks a little different. It'll look a lot different for districts all across Missouri. And in fact, a lot of school districts in our area here on the Missouri side of the metro are using virtual uh, you know, le recorded lessons, I guess, from the Springfield School District down in southwest Missouri. Ray Peck said they wanted to do it its own way so that teachers saw a familiar face or students saw a familiar face of a teacher that they know here from the district. Lindsay and Taylor. It's really interesting there, Charlie. So, Charlie, how about the financial side of things? How does creating its own platform maybe save the district some money? The administration says this will save the district money, but it will also save jobs. You know, instead of just using all those you know, recorded lessons from Springfield, they'll be able to keep their RAPEC teachers here and employed throughout this school year. All right, Charlie King reporting live for us this morning. Charlie, thank you very much.